All right, hello, how's it going guys? My name is Oliver. Today I'm making a video that has been long requested by you guys. Um, a quick breakdown of my cold email campaign setup. This is some not something that I've covered much in my YouTube videos. I talk a lot about cold calls, but cold email is something that I recently started doing pretty well. It's something that I've included in my program. People have been seeing success with it. So today I'm gonna to be sharing the exact framework that I teach people to use. It's not super complicated. Uh, you just have to make sure that you do all of the correct steps and you follow a couple of rules because with cold email, it's a bit tricky. But if you follow everything, it should work perfectly well for you. And I truly believe that you can reach 50 grand per month if you use this framework, all right? You will have to outsource, delegate, increase volume, but I mean, it's perfectly doable with this system. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Um, also, I want to thank you guys uh, so much for almost reaching 1000 subscribers on the YouTube. I am super happy. I did not think I'd be able to reach this um, as quickly as I did. I gave myself a year to get 1000 subs. So uh, we're almost there. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone for that. But yeah, um, without wasting any more time, let's get straight to the video. So how exactly can we scale up to 50 grand per month using cold email. First of all, I'd recommend you guys to break down the numbers. All right, so if let's say your regular ticket price is about $2,500 per month, then you would need about 20 clients to make this work. If your ticket price is five grand per month, you need 10 clients. All right, so try breaking down the numbers for your business and work your way backwards from there to understand, all right, so I need to send this amount of emails, uh, I need to source this amount of leads. I get get this amount of clients. How long does it typically take me? How many appointments does it take me to close a client? You know, try to work your way back around, uh, backwards sorry, to really have a clear understanding of what is needed to achieve that goal. So once you do that, um, we'll move on to the next step, which is, you know, the whole email setup. First off, you want to start creating new domains. All right, this is fairly important. Um, the reason being is that you there's a high likelihood of you landing in spam if you start sending a bunch of emails all right and the last thing we want to do is to use our own personal domain to send out cold email and then to get that domain blacklisted because we're using that for business we have a bunch of subscriptions and stuff like that we don't want to get that one blacklisted all right, so we want to buy additional domains so that if they do get blacklisted, it doesn't really matter. And also for another reason, which is probably the most important reason, is that per domain, you can only send, as I wrote here, um, a maximum of 100 emails per day. All right, that includes follow-ups as well. Okay, so it's not 100 new emails and then 100 follow-ups and, you know, additional emails. So it's 100 in total. So if you want to hit big volume, we'll need multiple domains. I personally recommend five domains at least. So with five domains, I can send 500 emails per day. It's not 500 new emails, like cold emails. It's probably like 100 new emails and then 400 follow-ups, like something like that. All right, but I would recommend to get multiple domains. The more, the better. Once you have the domains bought, Okay, you can buy them from Google domains. You have to set up the domain tracking. Depending on the software you use to automate these emails, the, the setup will be a bit different. I will have a link in the description to the software that I use. Uh, it's what I teach people to use. It's what I've used personally and it's been working for me very well. So just, it's gonna be the first link in the description and you can set up the domain tracking there. And you can also do the next step, which is the warm up. All right, so that can entirely be done on that website. The warm up is extremely important. All right, many people ask me, Oliver, can't I just buy a bunch of domains and just start sending emails? The whole point of, you know, when Google sees like a new account, they understand that if it's a regular person, if it's like a real person who just bought a domain and is trying to start their business, they're slowly going to scale up the amount of emails they send per day, right? It would be unnatural for a regular person to buy an email and then from day one send a hundred emails. It's like, who does that in real life? All right, so if you do that, you're going to get automatically blacklisted from day one because it's unnatural behavior. 
So our goal is to kind of fly under the radar and to just slowly ramp up the amount of emails we send every day. So warming up is exactly that. So we'll start off with, you know, maybe two emails per day. And every day we're going to ramp it up by two emails. So day one, I'll send two emails. Day two, um, day two, I'll send four and then six and then eight. And I'll slowly start ramping up the amount of emails I send. All right. So this is a way of mimicking a human like behavior with emails so that when we do get to that point where we can send a hundred emails per day, it won't be flagged as suspicious activity because we did have that slow build up. All right. And obviously you can do that manually, but it's a lot easier to just use a warm up software. Um, you know, it will make your life a lot easier and it's going to be more effective as well. All right. So definitely use this. So the only downside of that is that yes, for 14 days, you basically cannot do anything, especially if you're just starting out. All right. So while you're waiting for those 14 days, there's some preparation you can do. All right. So while they're warming up, buy your domains, okay, buy five, warm them up. Once you're at this stage and you basically have to wait, do the preparation. Okay. So what's the preparation? There's two things you can do. All right. So there's the cold email template. So basically just make your template. All right. Um, I, I do have a couple of templates that I can share. If you guys want them, just send me a message on Instagram and I can send them to you because it depends on your niche and everything. But um, if you do want a template, I can send them to you. Just send me a message on Instagram, um, but try to find a template that works for you. Ideally, you want a four follow up sequence with your emails. So what does that mean? Basically, you'll send the first email. You're going to, you know, this is very important. You have to include a line of personalization. Hey, saw on your website that you got listed on I don't know, Forbes magazine. That's impressive, right? That's a customizable line to that specific person. All right. So you want to include something personalized to them. It's going to help you with your open rate and also with your reply rate. All right. And you also want to include the offer in that first email. This is why it's extremely important to have a good offer, because if your offer is not good and you start blasting 500 emails per day, it's not going to work out very well. All right. So it's worth spending a bit of time in building that irresistible offer, as I often mention. Okay. Because once you have it, it makes your life a whole a lot easier. Okay. So once we have the offer, we have the personalized solution line. We want to create a couple of script templates. Obviously this, the personalization line, you cannot do it here, but you'll basically have a section in the email where you would include it. Typically it's at the beginning. Afterwards you'll do your lead sourcing. Okay. This is the activity you'll be doing the most, right? Even when the emails are launched, we have to source as many leads as we can, right? Especially during those 14 days, you source as many as you can. You don't be lazy. You do it as much as you can. Okay. So how do we do them? We'll start sourcing leads from LinkedIn, D7 or Apollo. All right. We'll use these softwares. And then from there, you know, it's important not to just download D7, take all of the emails and just blast them. All right. Because you're going to be sending those emails to info at, you know, company name.com contact at business name.com. That's not what we want to do. All right. We want to find the right decision makers by using snob or sales navigator so that we can really, you know, target the decision makers. So maybe I'll look at a company. I'm like, okay, this company fits my niche. I look at the email. It's like contact at business.com. It's like, okay, I don't want to send it to that. I go under LinkedIn. I use snob. I use sales navigator and I see, okay, Tracy is the head of marketing at the company. So I'm like, okay, okay. What is Tracy's email? So I'll try to find it and maybe I'll find Tracy at businessname.com. Then I'll send her that email because she's in charge of marketing. She's the decision maker. If it's a smaller company, maybe it's going to be the directly the owner. So if the owner's name is John and you find an email that's John at business name, then you want to send the email to that person. Okay. So this is extremely important. Um, you guys let me know if you want me to make a video on how exactly I source my leads. All right. How do I find the decision makers and how do I source the leads? 
and afterwards that's when you would create the personalization line for every client all right so if we use the same example tracy let's say she got an award for being a really good marketer you would mention that in your email right you make it customizable to her so that she doesn't feel like it's just a generic email that's being spammed up to everyone this is the thing that's going to take up most of the time all right when you do cold email you know obviously if you're doing it one by one and you're sending a hundred new emails per day it's a hundred times you have to do this it's pretty complex so this is probably one of the first things i would start outsourcing typically you can pay someone a hundred bucks for 1000 leads all right that's like a good rate more or less all right so the quicker you can outsource this the better it's going to be for you you're going to be sending more emails and you're going to be saving time yeah this is all done during the 14 day prep this it's only one time done uh well one time but make sure you 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 kind of play around with it once you get more data but this is something you're going to constantly be doing non-stop okay after they're warmed up you can basically launch the campaigns okay so you launch the automated campaigns if you use the website um, in the link it's called instantly um, you can basically set up the automatic sequence to launch on their own so you would take your excel sheet convert it to a csv upload it to instantly they're automatically going to see like okay this is the name this is the last name this is the email this is the you know, personalization line you would put brackets in the um, the email template so they could recognize where to put that information and yeah you would launch the ads and it's basically automated from there okay with this setup you can send about 500 emails actually it's going to be a bit less it's going to be 400 emails per day i'll explain to you why okay here i told you to create five domains and we have to warm them up for 14 days what happens if I start sending these domains and you know one of them get blacklisted and I have to remove them and by the way if you a trick to know if you've been blacklisted or not with your emails is look at your open rate if no one's opening your emails and typically you have a I don't know 40 percent open rate then you know something's wrong all right so you always want to keep at least one in backup because the last thing you want to do is kind of be using all of your domains they get blacklisted and then you have nothing left to use all right so always keep one in spare so if you do five you use four for a uh, cold email okay so 400 emails per day obviously you don't have to do 400 the more the better okay i do i, I tell people typically like if we can do a thousand emails per day then we're going to be really good okay but start off small like don't go crazy at first test everything out if you see you have a good reply rate and a good open rate then you're like huh this actually works i have a good template and everything's working perfectly fine and then my offer is good as well so then i'm going to start scaling and increasing the volume of output i'm doing all right at first you don't want to go super crazy with your emails you want to test things out and yeah good metrics right or open rate ideally about 40 percent okay and reply rate know five percent that's uh you know one to five percent that's what's expected you know the more the better but um you know if you're getting like constantly one percent and your open rate is not good then you know you know something has to change you know if it's open rate it's probably the headline that you're struggling with so probably switch up the the headline if it's the reply rate then it's probably the offer all right but yeah that pretty much sums up the entire process it's not super complicated um it just takes time it sucks the 14 days really sucks when especially when you want to start right away but at least you can use those 14 days to work on these things all right um this is the most important part okay the lead sourcing really make sure you guys know how to find the decision makers and how to source the leads and make sure you have a good template as well all right but yeah that pretty much sums up the entire process um it's it's different than cold calls okay you guys know i love cold calls i feel like cold calling is the quickest way to get your first client um, but it's hard to scale that's what sucks whereas cold email um, it's very easy to scale it does take a bit more time to set up but once it's set up and once you have a good winning formula then from there it's a machine that's basically booking you meetings on its own 
So yeah, that's gonna pre that's gonna sum it up for this entire video. I hope this was useful, and uh, yeah, we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.